hi guys so in this lecture we will understand what are user controls in WPF now user controls in WPF are basically reusable pieces of windows that could be hosted onto our main window now if you are working with some very big application like banking application or uh, some medical application there might be chances chances that you are, your UI is a very big UI now in order to make our application more robust and more simpler or you can say more independent we use user controls in WPF so what, what happens we design a main window and then we host our controls as user controls so let's first quickly jump into our example what we have been developing so far in MVVM application let's try to run this application once and you can see this is this is my application and in this I have a uh, list view defined in here okay and this list view is a part of my main window so if you go to the view folder and go to on go on to the main window so this main window is defined in here in which this list view is defined inside this grid right so there might be some case that if this application is a big big application so i might use this list view again and again in many windows right so it's not advisable to design this um, list view control or say some some other uh, user controls again and again so what we do we define a user control and then we host it whenever we require it so what we will do in this lecture we will first go through our slides first and then we will try to make our this list view control as a user control so let's now jump on to our slides first now user controls in WPF look pretty much same in like normal WPF window so as I told you that it's a reusable window so what whenever you define a user control it's like a WPF window itself okay on the only difference is that 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 user controls could be hosted onto the main window so we'll see this example once we uh, uh, do a demo now like normal windows user controls are composed of xaml have code behind file and can have controls in them so our window is always com composed of xaml right or xaml file and it has a .cs file associated with it now this is the same case with user controls too so as i told you that user controls are more or like normal windows only and we can have controls also defined in them now purpose of user controls is code reuse so it is also advisable to divide our application in smaller portions to make our application more modular now if you define a user control and you use in many windows so it's it's basically helping you to save time and uh, avoiding code complexity as well so if you want to debug your application you can directly see on to the that uh, go to that user control and see what type of bindings are done to that user control and uh, how we have used that user control onto our application right so basically this will make our application more modular and it will help us to uh, save our time by using code reuse now all the features of windows could be applied on user controls there are there are slight differences that i will list list once we uh, we are in demo now these user controls could be hosted in one main window to make our application more modular and discrete so let's quickly jump onto our example now so this is the same example what we have been developing so far now if you're working with uh, a very big mbbm project so this is the terminology what we uh, what we follow we have a command folder we have a converter folder we have a model view and a view model right but what happens to make our application more robust we usually have our view as user controls so let me have a new folder defined in here and let, let me make it as user control okay so we will de we can define many user controls inside this so i have made this as user controls folder okay now let's take take uh, let let me add a user control so i have an option in here to add a user control inside this okay so how will you add this it's it's like adding normal wpf window itself so you will select the user control and let me give this as a name called as list view okay and let me add this so my list view is ready in here and now let's take uh, our well, let's go to our main window and let me take out this list view from here okay let me take out this list view so let me cut this and paste in my user control so inside this grid let me have my list view 
okay so my list view is now as a user control so you can see i cannot find the my converter resource in here so let me go back to our main window and see let me copy this namespace in here and let me paste first of all let me expand this view here so you can see it clearly and let me expand it here so let me copy this namespace what we have copied from the other window the main window and now let's try to build this okay and it has succeeded and you can see now my user control is still not finding this my converter okay though i have referenced it here and still it's not finding here that's because my i have not defined my static resource in windows dot resources so in my main window what happened i have already defined a static resource in here by the name of by the key of my converter so this i need to do with this uh, in same thing i have to do in the list view user control too so let me take this away let me cut this so i don't need it here and let me paste it in here but i need to make it as a resource so in my main window it was a window so we used window dot resources now this is the this is the minor minor adjustment or difference what we were talking about user control and windows so i need to use user control dot resources so in the case of windows we use window dot resources okay so this is the only difference between window and uh, user controls okay so whenever you need to reference this user control anything you need to define anything as a resource or something so you use user control dot resources okay and now let me copy the same resource in here inside this okay so i made this my converter as a user control dot resource and you can see my error has gone away from here okay now let me build this application and it's it has succeeded okay now let i need to host this user control onto my main window okay so you can see i have cut this grid view from here so i will put my user control in here so now in order to reference this user control i need to reference it with the help of a namespace what i have defined so what's the namespace of my this this project it's defined in here right xmls local clr namespace mmm practical so this is the main namespace okay so my user control is present inside this namespace okay so let me have local and then i have list view what's the name of my uh, user control it's list view okay and i will have my grid so grid dot so i'm still getting an error in here the error is error says the name list view does not exist in namespace clr namespace mm practical okay, so i have missed the folder name so i guess this is user controls okay now i guess it's my error has gone yes it has gone so grid dot row and it's present in the third third row so i will host it in my grid dot third row and grid dot column should be one okay now my user control or list view which i have defined in here so this is my list view i have defined in here this is a user control i have hosted it onto my main window so so if i comment this line out my user control will be commented out so i don't i will not have my list view onto my ui so let's try to run this application and see if it works at as it was working before so let me run this now and you can see it's working as expected so i have virat kohli and let me submit it and you can see virat kohli is has been submitted so i am using this list view now as a user control and it is hosted onto my main window now if you if you work with very good application or, or you can say very bigger application so you will have many user controls defined in here okay and all these user controls will be hosted onto this view okay or you can say the main window so the main window will act as a host and all these user controls will be hosted onto that main window okay 
so basically this helps uh, helps us to make our application more modular so if you need to find out data binding or whatever data binding is associated with that um, with that window you can directly go on to that user control and debug that data binding too okay also if i need to use this list view again and again i can host it again and again by using a single line of code so i can use this type of single line of code and host this list view again and again wherever i want it to okay so i hope the concept of user control is clear on your mind let's move back to our slides and you can see i have listed all these points and i have shown these all points in my demo too so what are basically user controls user controls are reusable windows okay and it is very similar to window or you can say it is just another form of a window but it could be hosted hosted on to other main windows now if you are defining any resources you need to define it as user control dot resources instead of window dot resources so i hope these all points are clear to you so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so very much